In this video, we're going to look at the topic of best buys or unitary measures. Often when we go shopping, we see different sizes of items on the shelves with different prices. This topic considers which is the best value for money. Some of these problems can be done with simply scaling up or using proportion. Others, though, will need a different technique. Let's look at the basic question. Which is the best buy? 10 cakes for £1.20 or 5 for 58p. I can use simple proportion here. So if I think about this one right here, all I need to do is multiply this by two and that would give me 10 cakes. So I could say that 10 cakes would be now giving me 58 times by two, which is 116p or one pounds and 16 pence. So we can clearly see that buying five would be better value. We're going to get now a cheaper price for exactly the same amount. So on this particular example, I've scaled up or looked at proportion. It won't always be that simple. So this question says, John wants to buy some biscuits. He can buy a packet of 12 biscuits for £1.36 or a packet of 17 for £1.68. Which packet is better value? Often in supermarkets now, they tell you the price per 100 grams or the price per biscuit. What we're going to do is look at something called unitary measures. What I want to find out is what each biscuit would cost if I bought the 12 or if I bought the 17. And we can do that by taking price and dividing it by quantity. So price divided by quantity. Whichever gives me the lowest value is going to be the best value. That's telling me that the price, the, the cost per biscuit. So we want each biscuit to be as low as possible. So let's take now the 12. So we'll start now with the 12. The price is £1.36 or 136p. If I divide this by 12, that will tell me how much each biscuit costs. If I take the 17, I'm going to take 168 pence and divide it by 17. So let's see which gives us the lowest value. So if we do 136 divided by 12, this tells me that each biscuit is going to cost 11.3 recurring pence. 11.3 recurring pence. It's quite important that you consider these decimal places. Often students just see 11.3 and leave it there. With some best buys, the actual uh, value will be very similar. So do keep a high level of accuracy. If we now do the other one, 168 divided by 17, that's going to give me on here now uh, 9.88. So let's put this here. So this is going to be now 9.88 pence. And I'm just going to round this now to two decimal places. So this is what it's telling me it would cost per biscuit. So if I bought this packet per biscuit, it would be 11.3. And this one would be 9.88. Therefore, what we'd have now is the 17. That is the better value because each biscuit is cheaper. Okay, let's look at another one. Sue wants to buy some sugar. 240 gram packets cost 89p and 430 gram packets cost £1.53. We're asked to find the cost per gram for each packet and advise Sue on which packet she should buy. So always go back to price divided by quantity. If you ever forget this, just think alphabetically. P comes before Q. If you do this the other way around, you want the highest possible value because that's telling me what I'm getting for every penny. I prefer to work it this way and take the price divided by the quantity and consider the lowest amount. So let's now look at the 240 gram packet. We'll have the price. If we just look here, we've got 89p and 153. So I'm going to put this in pence. So 89 divided by 240. And then I'm going to have versus now the 430 gram packet. The price is 153p and the quantity now is 430. So if I calculate these now, we're going to have the cost per gram. So let's go ahead and do that. And remember, these values might be quite close. So we need to keep a decent level of accuracy. So 89 divided by 240 gives me 0. Point, and we'll write this in, 0. 0.3708 dot, 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 dot. Let's just check that. 
and then if we do the next one we're going to have now uh, 153 divided by now the 430 so 430 and that's going to give me now 0 0.3558 0 0.3558 so if I give these now to three decimal places we can say 0 0.371 pence per gram so we can write pence per gram so I'm writing this in and that is given to three decimal places versus now this one which is going to be 0 0.3 and then we're going to have 56 and that's going to be now pence per gram so per gram and that again is to three decimal places so which one is a better value well the answer is the larger one that's not always going to be the case as we saw with the biscuits but we can see this high level of accuracy is really quite important if you'd gone the other way it would have told you how much penny or how much each penny buys you in terms of the grams but as stated if we're looking at unitary measures we're looking at the unit cost per gram fred has the choice of three different boxes of dog juice the box with 13 in is priced two pounds 40 the box price at £2.74 has 15 shoes in and he can buy 17 shoes in a box for £3.10. Which should he buy? So we're going to assume he wants to save as much as possible and we're going to work these out. This one is worded slightly differently. So all I'm going to do is look at the three boxes. I'm going to have the 13 box, I'm going to have the 15 box and I'm going to have now the 17 box. So let's work out the unitary cost. So it's going to be price, which is 240 pence, divided by the quantity, which is the first one. The price of 274 pence divided by 15, which is the second one, or 310 divided by 17 on the last one. So let's go and work this out. So 240 divided by 13. So that one is going to give me on here uh, 18.461, so let's write this in, so 18.461, dot, 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 dot. Remember, this is the cost per chew. If we go on the next one, what have we got on the next one? We've got 274, so 274 divided, let's put that in, 274 divided by 15. So 274 divided by 15 gives me 18.266, so let's write this in. So 18, 18.266 uh, 18 and dot, dot, dot and so on and so forth. And then if we look at the last one, 310 divided by 17. So 310 divided by 17, that gives me 18.235. So 18.235 dot, dot, dot and so on and so forth. So we can see with this one how important it is keeping a high level of accuracy we can see that this one is going to be very slightly cheaper. The 17 is only very slightly cheaper. If we look here, we've got now this 6 here and this as a 3. So it's going to be 18.266 pence per chew. This one's going to be 18.235 and so on per chew. So we would advise him now to buy the box with 17 in. So make sure if you've got a question like this, you're setting it up nice and accurately and you're not what we call truncating or cutting out answers short at this point. So brief recap, when we're looking at the best buys, we divide the price by the quantity to get the unit cost. We want the unit cost to be as low as possible and we just compare each in turn.